Well, it was recorded at a little studio in Wakefield that was really, um, it was a bedroom in, in, in uh, a man called Mike Levin, uh, his house. And he um, had started a little label called Holy Ground Records. And the studio was known as Holy Ground. And they'd recorded local folk musicians. And um, a kind of, a, when, when, when the, the mid-60s thing turned into the hippie era, uh, there was a kind of a hippie commune living there. Uh, they were all students, uh, teacher training students, but musicians as well. So there was this kind of collective of people who would gather at Holy Ground Studios and a couple or three of the guys would write songs and other people would play on them. And I got involved um, kind of almost by accident and, and ended up playing on a couple of things. Um, at that time I had not really written anything of my own and I had a band called Global Village, a trio, a kind of a psychedelic blues trio. Um, and so I got involved with the Holy Ground community and, and playing on some of uh, uh, the albums that they were making. Uh, but none of it was my music and I was only on a couple of tracks. Uh, and then, you know, the idea came that perhaps I might do something myself. Um, and uh, that's how Northern Dream started. And in fact, Northern Dream was really the first batch of songs that I'd seriously had a go at writing. Um, so not only is it the first album I've ever recorded, it's probably the first collection of songs I'd ever written as really? well. Really? Yeah. yeah. yeah.